Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, February 8, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trade and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the, uh, the S&P 500, and as you can see, we have been rallying since we found major support here down at the 3,700, give or take. And at the moment, we have been we have rallied roughly 5.4%. And it is expected uh, for the S&P to run into resistance. It is very unlikely that this rally will continue uh, without any pullback uh, whatsoever. And the reason why I say that is because also we are running into the top of the bullish band here. We may have an additional day where this rallies, but at this point, it is not a buy. Uh, we need a basically a pullback towards roughly 3,700, um, give or take, or 3,800. That is where you know, uh, entry points should uh, be. So we are in this channel yet again. If we break towards the bottom of this channel, that is the that is a possible entry. So give or take three thousand eight hundred uh, or three thousand, roughly, roughly this area here. So that's a little bit below this. The twenty moving average will move up this way. So I would say around three thousand eight hundred and twenty four. That is where this will fall to, and then it is possible to buy into this again. So the target here is 4,000. So that is roughly here. So we'll have this channel move up this way. So when we get to 4,000, that should be the end of this channel. So whether or not we break to the upside or we break uh, considerably, considerably to the downside, um, that is to be seen. Uh, but 4,000 is basically our our target here that will probably take another another uh, two to four weeks in order to get to that to that price level but pullbacks towards this area here that is what i'm looking for in order to target four thousand technical indicators um are looking very bullish at the still um rsi is at 61 so a lot of room to the upside but as i said I don't like when we get to the top of the bullish band. You can see every single time here that when we get to the top, we either fall towards the middle of the bullish band or we fall towards the lower part, the lower part of the bullish band. So wait for a pullback. That is what it is. Uh, it is expected when to make a pullback at this point. Probably not tomorrow, but on Tuesday, Wednesday, we should see some kind of pullback. It usually starts with some kind of news or just an excuse for this market to basically uh, fall the downside. There's a lot of stimulus going on, and probably that will also um, happen according to the stimulus as it will pull back. And when uh, it uh, passes the Congress, then it will basically rally to the upside. So let's go to the Dow Jones. We can see that we have rallied all the way since the bottom here of roughly 90 Nine twenty nine thousand eight hundred and ninety eight, and this has been a rally of roughly four point six eight percent. So we have some room to the upside here in the Dow Jones. It can rally further. It could go all the way down up to thirty one thousand five hundred before we pull back down. But pullbacks towards the twenty exponential. That's roughly a fall of one point twelve percent, or even better to the fifty. That is 2%. That is major buying opportunity at this point. There's no reason to sell any of these indices. They are going to rally or continue these rallies. So to take advantage of these major pullbacks of roughly, uh, this one was give or take 4.5%. That is just buy as much as, as possible, but still uh, stop loss underneath if it basically goes wrong. But the market is in another bull run. We will see these moves to the downside, minors or majors. So these were major moves to the downside, roughly, I think it was about 10% moves, roughly 10%. And this one was also roughly uh, 8%. And this one was, give or take, 9%. So 
we have seen three, eight to ten percent to the downside. Otherwise, it is five percent to the uh, to the fifty moving average or just below the fifty moving average, and then rallies. So, just keep that in mind. Those are the major uh, opportunities to uh, buy big for these indices when they have these kinds of pullbacks. But at the moment, we are rallying. We are in the upper part. If you buy here, it could pull, could pull back towards the bottom of the bullish band, and you basically get stuck here for quite some time. Um, yes, otherwise, technical indicators, they are bullish still. So we may see Monday or Tuesday of this rallying, and then it will fall towards the downside. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ, same, we are in this channel here. We're getting really close to the top of the channel, also very top of the bullish band, and we are on the edge of being overbought here in the RSI. We are 67. 70 is basically the, uh, the, the limit. So uh, expect a pullback at any point. It may not be an aggressive pullback like we probably see in the S&P or the Dow Jones, but a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that's a fall roughly 2.5 to 8% or to the all the way to the bottom of the bullish band here that is that is best case scenario that is 3% to the downside but i think the 20 exponential should be major support i don't think even we'll get down to that level so 30200 that is 30000 13300 give or take that should be the entry point Technical indicators otherwise are very bullish, but at this point we are fairly overstretched on the on the, the limit of being overstretched, and we should expect a pullback towards these levels. So, so the target here is fourteen thousand or fifteen. So that is also possible for us to target this level here. So a pullback towards the twenty, you could target this or you could target this for a long term that is most likely where we are going to in the future this will probably take um, in the end of march we'll probably get towards fifteen thousand. so yes we have been seeing the same movements in the nasdaq as we have been seeing in the in the dow jones and s p 500 we had this very nasty fall here back in september I don't expect that these falls to continue, especially when you're going to see uh, these amounts of stimulus uh, going to enter the market. Uh, we'll probably not see these massive falls. And the um, coronavirus the numbers are also a, very, a lot lower now than they have been. Um, so we'll probably see the end of the coronavirus in the next uh, uh, half a year or year. That will probably not be a major thing for the economy so that is good news so um, at the moment pullbacks towards the 20 exponential target of the 14 or the 15,000 that is going to be our targets so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much